Hey guys and welcome back to the Crochet Toy YouTube channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to crochet this little amigurumi bee. So here he is. And this is going to be my first ever pattern that's not just replicating like a TV show character or like a game character or something like that. So this is my first kind of generic character. So I hope you like it. It's pretty simple. It's perfect for beginners um, and it doesn't take too long to make. So um, yeah, if even if you're a beginner, you should be able to follow along with this quite easily. Um, and yeah, if you're interested in finding out how to make this, then keep watching. And as always, the free pattern is available on my blog. So you can have that open while you're watching this video, or you can just look at the pattern uh, if you don't need the video instructions to help you. So let's get into what you'll be needing for this. So for this pattern, you'll be needing Aran Weight Yarn in the following colours. Light yellow, white, black. Then you'll be needing double knit scrap yarn in the following colours, black and light pink. Now it doesn't have to be double knit, but I just think that this looks better because it makes the line the right thickness, but you could use Aran or you could use embroidery thread. Then you'll be needing some stuffing. Uh, this is just uh, just to show you the um, stuffing, but obviously you'll need a lot more than this. So um, yeah, it's just to demonstrate. Then I've decided to use safety eyes. So I'm using 11 millimeter oval safety eyes. Um, but yeah, you can use whatever you want. You could embroider the eyes or you could use some different type of safety eyes. Then I've got fabric glue and this is uh, for gluing down the mouth in the right position and then also gluing down the eyes if you choose to um, insert the eyes after you have already closed off the head. So um, yep, that's what that's going to be used for. Then yarn needle, four millimetre crochet hook, or you can uh, use a different uh, crochet hook if you've decided not to use Aran weight yarn. Then I've got some pins here. This is just for pinning everything together when we're sewing it. This is kind of optional. Uh, it's up to you if you want to use that. And then I've also got my stitch marker, which is just a scrap piece of yarn. And I've also got my scissors. Sorry, I forgot to show those. So that is everything that you'll be needing for this tutorial. We're going to start at the head. So grab your light yellow yarn and we're going to firstly do six single crochets in a magic circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, and pull to close. So that's round one. Sorry, I'm just grabbing some more yarn. Then for round two, we're going to increase in each stitch all the way around. So now at the end of the second round we should have 12 single crochets all the way around. For round three we're going to do a single crochet and then an increase. And we're going to repeat that five more times and that will get us to the end of round three. So single crochet increase single crochet increase single crochet increase single crochet increase and last one, single crochet, increase, single crochet, increase, single 
increase. So at the end of round three, we should now have 18 single crochets all the way around. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So for the next few rounds, it's uh, just standard rounds of increases and increments of six. So I'm just going to talk you through those. So for round four, you're going to do two single crochet increase and repeat five more times to get you to 24 single crochets at the end of the round. For round five, you're going to do three single crochet increase, repeat five more times to get you to 30 at the end of the round. Round six, four single crochet increase, repeat five more times to get you to 36 at the end of the round. Round seven, five single crochet increase, repeat five more times, get you to 42 at the end of the round. Round eight, six single crochet increase, repeat five more times, get you to 48 at the end of the round. Round nine, seven single crochet increase, repeat five more times, get you to 54. And then round 10, eight single crochet increase, repeat five more times, get you to 60. So I will meet you when you have got to the end of round 10. So I got to the end of round 10 and this is what it looks like. So this is going to be the front of the face. Um, and now for rounds 11 to 15, we're just going to single crochet all the way around. So I'll meet you when you get to the end of round 15. So I reached the end of round 15 and this is what it's looking like. Um, so for round 16 onwards, we're going to start doing some decreases. So for round 16, you're going to start by doing eight single crochets. So one two three four five six seven eight and then you're going to do a decrease so just like this And then you're going to repeat that five more times and that will get you to 54 single crochets at the end of the round. Um, and then I'm just going to talk you through the next few rounds because they're, again, just a standard uh, decrease rounds in increments of six. So for round 17, you're going to do seven single crochets decrease. That'll get you to 48 single crochets at the end of the round. Round 18, six single crochet decrease, get you to 42. Round 19, five single crochet decrease, repeat five more times, get you to 36. Round 20, four single crochet decrease, repeat five more times, get you to 30. Round 21, three single crochet decrease, repeat five more times, get you to 24. And then round 22, two single crochet decrease, and repeat that five more times to get you to 18. Uh, and I will meet you when you finish round 22, because this is when we're going to start stuffing. So I've reached the end of round 22 and this is what it's looking like. Now it's completely up to you whether you want to add the face details and the eyes and everything at this point or you could wait until uh, the end and you could just wait until you've stuffed and uh, fully uh, finished crocheting this part and sewing it up. Um, but if you do wait then obviously you're going to need to use some glue for the safety eyes um, as I mentioned previously. So I think I'm going to add the detail at this point but what I want to do is I just want to have a look at the face and try and work out um, which way round it's going to sit when I sew it to the body because the, each side does look a little bit different so you'll probably have a preference um, but I think this is my preference so I think I'm going to make the face um, be sort of facing this way and I'm going to sew the body at this point when I get to that stage um, so the first thing you'll want to do is grab your eyes um, and we're going to place them roughly at round four so one two three four and we're going to place them with roughly seven, cen uh, seven single crochets apart. So just pop them down where you think looks best to start with. And then you might need to play around with it a bit. So one, two, three, four, five. They're maybe a bit too close, so I might just move mine actually a little bit further out. You don't have to follow my placement at all, by the way, obviously. Um, just do whatever you like the look of. Okay, so I think I'm happy with that placement. Um, but before you put the backs 
onto the eyes what you might want to do is add the eyelash detail at this point so that's what i'm going to do um, because then you can kind of um hide it underneath the eye so i'm just gonna start that now so i'm just gonna bring the yarn through to roughly But actually, no, into this stitch, I think. Just play around with it and see um, what looks good. And then I'm just going to kind of go just into this stitch here. And I've decided I'm not happy with that, so this is just the reality of it. You're just going to have to play around with it until you find something that you're happy with. So. I might just be going into this stitch instead. Okay, that's much better, so I like that. So now I'm going to go back up through this stitch here. And then I'm going to go into this one and see how that looks. And again, I might need to adjust it because it might not look even on both sides. But this loop back so you just have to keep uh, trying until you're happy with what you have so hmm this one doesn't quite look right I think it doesn't really look even I'm gonna have a little play around with this off camera I'm literally just gonna um, take the stitches out and kind of move them around until um, I'm happy with how it looks and then I'll show you when I reach the point that I'm happy with uh, the eyelashes so quite honestly I spent about another 10 minutes playing around with it and I'm still not 100% happy but it does look a lot better than it did before so I think I'm just going to uh, call it quits there but um, it is important that you try your best obviously to make the face look the way that you want it because that is the central point I suppose of the of the B. Um, so anyway what I just wanted to show you is when I put the backs on the... Um, eyes here i am going to make sure that i overlap the yarn with the back of the eye um because then that will kind of secure it in place without you having to knot anything which is kind of cool so i'm just going to show you how i do that now like that and then i'm just going to do the same on the other side going to show you that so those black tails are now trapped under there so you can just cut the yarn and it will be secure and then you just want to make sure that the eyes are in the right position once you've um you've put the backs on but mine look fine so i'm happy with that so now the next part will be um crocheting uh, sorry uh, embroidering the mouth and the cheeks with our black and uh, pink scrap yarn so now i'm going to add the cheek detail i'm going to add this just kind of diagonally uh one single crochet beneath the eye so i'm just gonna feed my yarn through into this stitch and then do the same on the other side like that and then I'm probably just gonna um, knot that down at the back to keep that in place so the final part of the face is just to embroider the mouth with our um, black yarn or embroidery thread or whatever you're using this is probably the trickiest part because you're probably going to need to use some glue to keep the mouth in a smiling position uh, but if you have some other method of doing it that doesn't need glue then that's great you can use that um, so I 
I'm just going to have a go at placing them off. I might need to take out the yarn and redo it again because uh, sometimes you just kind of have to do that. So I think I'm going to start it off around here. So maybe in this stitch here. And then I think I'm trying to make it about even on each side. Maybe this stitch I'll go into. And don't pull all the way because you'll want to save a bit of um, yarn so that you can glue it down into a smiling position. So let's see. I'm just going to flatten this. Yeah, you know what? I am actually happy with that on the first attempt, which is unusual. So I'm just going to uh, leave it in that position. I'm just going to grab my glue and I'm just going to add some onto the face so that I can just glue that down and keep it secure uh, I probably just need to wipe this actually give me one second sorry I'm back with my clean glue now that's a tip always make sure you have tissues nearby when you're using glue um, so So just kind of pat the mouth onto the glue that you've just placed um, and then I would just leave that to dry for a little bit because you don't want to mess up what you've just done um, and then all you need to do is uh, knot that black yarn at the back um, making sure not to pull too tight at all in fact I wouldn't pull at all just kind of knot it in the position that it's currently in just yeah like I say don't pull it because otherwise you might mess up the um, smiling position that you've just created with the glue because you can kind of the glue i don't know what glue you're using but this glue isn't so strong that you couldn't just rip um the mouth off if you really tried so yeah if you pull too hard at the back it will just completely um rip off and you'd have to uh, do it all again um but yeah so as i mentioned i'm gonna knot that black yarn at the back when this is dried after about five minutes um, and then this is the completed face so we're then just going to move on to the final couple of rounds um, of the head which I'm just pulling those up on my screen now I think they're just standard uh, decreases in increments of six so yep so for round 23 you're just going to want a single crochet decrease and repeat five more times to get you to uh 12 single crochets at the end of the round and for round 24 you're going to decrease all the way around to get you to six single crochets at the end of the round and don't forget to add your stuffing at this point um so i'll show you once i've done that as well so i'm just going to add my stuffing now you want to add uh, a fair bit but just make sure that obviously you don't add so much that holes um, start to show up in your work just gonna add a little bit more So I think that's enough. You're probably going to have to play around with it a little bit, just kind of shape the head. Um, but yeah, so now I'm just going to do the final couple of rounds and I'll meet you when I get to that point. So I've got to the end of uh, the final round, so I'm just going to cut the yarn. And I'm just going to close up the hole.
and then I'm just going to feed that tail through to a random point. Don't pull too tight or you might misshape the back of the head. And I'm just going to cut this. And there we have it. So the head is now complete. So we can move on to the body. Um, so again, grab your light yellow yarn. And this is what we're going to start off using. So the body and legs are kind of crocheted as one piece, but we're going to start off with the legs first, then we're going to join them together. So we're going to crochet one of the legs first. So to start off with, just do five single crochets in a magic circle, and that's going to be round one. Then I'm just going to talk you through the next few rounds because they're pretty straightforward. So for round two, you're just going to increase all the way around and that'll get you to 10 single crochets at the end of the round. Round three, you're going to do four single crochet increase and repeat that once more to get you to 12 single crochets at the end of the round. And then for round four, you're just going to single crochet all the way around. So I'll meet you when you get to the end of round four. So uh, for the final round, um, you're going to need to actually change colour to black. So I'm going to use the fake single crochet method for this to try and hide um, where the colour change occurs. So I've just cut my um, uh, light yellow yarn, leaving like a very short tail. I'm just going to turn my work and show you how to do the fake single crochet. So skip the next single crochet and go into this uh, single crochet and just pull the yarn tail through. And then go back to the final single crochet of the final round and just put your hook into this front loop only from our perspective. And then just pull the yarn tail through. And as you can see, that is now the fake single crochet and it just makes it a bit less obvious where the round finished. So I'm now going to uh, just reattach my black yarn into the real single crochet before the fake one. So just grab my black yarn doesn't really matter what um stitch you reattach the black yarn into um and i'm just gonna reattach that and so for round five what we're going to do is we're going to do five single crochets so then another five and then another increase okay so now I'm just going to cut my yarn leaving just a short tail and all you're going to do is you're going to repeat rounds one to five once more. But this time, just make sure that you don't cut the black yarn at all. Leave it on your hook. And we're going to join these two um, legs together. And then we're going to just work the rest of the body. So um, I will meet you when you've done that. Okay, so I repeated rounds one to five again. So now I've got two legs, one of them with the yarn still attached uh, on my hook. So we're going to work round six now, which is going to join these two legs together. So the first thing you're going to do is you're just going to do seven single crochets in this leg here. And you're just going to probably want to mark the first single crochet you do just to remind yourself where the round actually started. So one, two, three, four five six seven then you're going to chain two 
and then you're going to work in every single crochet all the way around for the second leg uh, and that's going to join this leg together with this uh, leg that you've already got here um now you can actually just start single crocheting in any single crochet of the leg so i'm just going to pick this random one here but it doesn't really matter um where you start so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and then this is the last one fourteen so now the two legs are kind of joined together as you can see so you just want to make sure that this uh, middle chain isn't all twisted so you want to just have that in the right position so this is what it should look like now um so now what we're going to do is we're going to work two single crochets into that chain that we uh just did so we're gonna do one and then another one whoops two so now the final thing is just do seven single crochets into the original leg that we started off with now if you're not sure which single crochet to work in first i would just recommend counting back um so you know this has to be the last single crochet so just count back seven from here so one two three four five six seven because sometimes maybe you would have thought that you need to work into this stitch but actually it's this one that you want so one two three four five six seven so now if you uh look at your work you should have the two legs joined together so there we go so now we're going to start uh round seven so for round seven, we're going to start off by doing an increase. Then we're going to work 14 single crochets. Don't forget that obviously that you need to be working those single crochets into the uh, chain, the two chain that you did in the middle. Then you're going to do two increases. Then you're going to do 14 single crochets.
then you're going to finish off with another increase. So at the end of round seven, you should now have 36 single crochets all the way around. Um, and then for round eight, actually, you're going to want to change colour to light yellow again. Now, you can use the fake single crochet method if you want, but because these colour changes are all going to be on the side of the bee and therefore can probably mostly be hidden by the arms, I'm just going to do normal uh, colour changes just to make my life easier. So um, I'm just going to undo this uh, final single crochet I did here so that I can yarn over and pull through in light yellow rather than uh, the black here. So I'm just going to grab my light yellow. And there we go. So now we're working with our light yellow. Um, so for rounds eight to nine, you just simply need to single crochet all the way around. So I'll meet you when you finish that. So I'm on the final single crochet of round nine. Um, so once again, we need to change colour. So we're going to change back to our black colour. So I'm just going to do that now. So for round 10, we're going to start off with a decrease. Then we are going to do 16 single crochets. And then we're just going to do the same thing again. So decrease and then 16 single crochets. So that is round 10. You should have 34 single crochets now and you can kind of see how the uh, body is starting to take shape. So for round 11, you want to decrease 15 single crochets, decrease 15 single crochets, and that will get you to 32 single crochets at the end of the round. And then for round 12, you want to decrease 14 single crochets, decrease 14 single crochets, and that will get you to 30 single crochets at the end of the round. And then we're going to change back to yellow. So I'll meet you at the end of round 12. So I'm now on the final stitch of round 12 um, and we're needing to change our colour again to yellow. So I'm just going to do that now using the uh, standard method. So there we have it. I've now changed to yellow. Uh, and now for round 13, we're going to decrease to start off with. So. Then we're going to do 11 single crochets. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten, eleven. Then we're going to do two decreases. One, two. Then we're going to do eleven single crochets again. Okay, so that's round 13. Oh, sorry, um, I just did a decrease at the end there. I forgot to uh, tell you that. So I did 11 single crochets and then I finished off with a decrease. So for round 14, we're going to do decrease, nine single crochets, two decrease, nine single crochets, and then a decrease. Uh, and that'll get us down to 22 single crochets at the end of round 14. So I'll meet you when you get to that point as then we'll need to change back to our black colour. Okay, so I'm on the final stitch of round number 14. As I mentioned, we're going to change to black now. So I'm just going to yarn over with my black to finish off this decrease. So there we go. So now we're just going to do the final few rounds. And again, I'm just going to talk you through these because they're pretty straightforward. So for round 15, you're going to decrease seven single crochets two decrease, seven single crochets, and then a final decrease. And that'll get you to 18 single crochets at the end of the round. Round 16, decrease, five single crochet, two decrease, five single crochet, decrease. That'll get you to 14 single crochets at the end of the round. And then for round 17, you're just going to single crochet all the way around. So in each of the 14 single crochets. Um, and I'll meet you when you get to that point, as that's when we're going to stuff the body and then sew to the head. So I got to the end of round 17 and this is what we've ended up with. So you should have kind of a rounded body shape like this. As I mentioned, don't worry too much about the colour changes at the side. You should hopefully be able to cover those up with the arms later on. So um, yeah, hopefully they won't be too visible. Um, so what you need to do now is cut a very long length um, of yarn uh, here so that you can use this to sew to the head um, and you will probably need to sew down uh, two or three times just to make sure that there's extra stability there because obviously the body is a lot smaller than the head so it's going to be a bit floppy I think if you only sew around once um, so the next thing we need to do is to stuff this so I'm just going to add some stuffing now I'm just going to keep going until the body is stuffed pretty firmly. I'm happy that I've stuffed this enough now, so I'm going to start sewing the body down to the head. You can use pins if you want, but I'm actually uh, just not going to use pins. So if you've already added the face, obviously you don't really have a choice um, where you sew the body onto the head. You're going to need to make sure that it uh, goes directly beneath the mouth. But um, if you haven't already added the face details, then at this point you just need to decide where, uh, what side you want to sew the body down onto. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get started here. I'm just going to be using whip stitches for this and as I mentioned uh, I'll probably show you what it looks like when I've sewn around once and I'll show you why you're probably going to want to sew uh, twice because it's just not going to have enough stability I think if you do it once so yep I'm just going to sew around like this using a whip stitch And yep, I'll meet you when I've sewn around once. I finished sewing down once and as you can see, the head is quite floppy. So I am going to sew down uh, once more, just going all the way around again. Um, and I'll show you when I finish that. 
I sewed around once more and it is still a little bit wobbly but it's more secure than it was um, and I'm kind of happy with how it is now so I'm just going to leave it at sewing around twice. Um, so yeah now we need to make our arms so if you just grab your yellow yarn I'll show you how to do that. So here is an example of one of the arms just to show you so this is what we're going to make now. So to start off with you're going to want to do five single crochets in a magic circle. Then for round two, you're going to want to increase in all the single crochets all the way around. So you'll have 10 single crochets at the end of round two. So that's the end of round two. So now for rounds three to five, you're just going to want to single crochet all the way around. And then for round six, you're going to want to do three single crochet decrease, three single crochet decrease to bring you down to eight single crochets. So I'll meet you at the end of round six because this is where we're going to start adding some stuffing. I'm at the end of round six and I'm going to add a bit of stuffing now. Um, this is the only stuffing that you're going to add to the arm. You're not going to add any more um, over the next few rounds. So just add a small amount here. And now we're just going to continue crocheting. So we're just going to do the last few rounds now. So for rounds 7 to 11, you're just going to crochet all the way around. So just single crochet um, in each of the eight single crochets in each round. Um, and then when you finish round 11, then I'm just going to show you how to finish off the arm. And then we'll just sew both of the arms to the B. So I got to the end of round 11 and all I'm going to do now is single crochet across um, to close this up. So there should be four single crochets. So I'm just going to do that now. Okay, so that is the second arm finished, so I'm just going to cut my yarn, leaving quite a long tail for sewing. And then I'm going to grab the B, and all we're going to do is just crochet the arms onto either side like this. So you could use pins if you want to, I'm probably not going to, um, and I will show you once I've sewn these down. Um, I'm just going to use a standard whip stitch at the top here and then what I'm probably going to do is feed the yarn tail through to a point around here and sew down a few stitches here to keep the arm uh, laid flat like this. So I might just show you when I do that in a second so I will see you when I've made a bit more progress on the sewing. I've sewn down both arms at the top now using a basic whip stitch and I did a couple of extra uh, whip stitches at either side as well just to um, add a bit of extra um, security to the arms. Now one thing I forgot to mention that I'm probably going to do is I'm actually going to sew around the head once more but with my yellow this time rather than the black so actually I can cut this tail I forgot to do that earlier. Um, and when I do this I'm going to also sew the head directly to the arms like that and I just think I prefer how that looks because it looks a bit cleaner but it's up to you you don't have to sew around again but um, it'll add a bit of extra stability to the head again because as you can see it's still slightly wobbly but it's not too bad so I'm just gonna go around like this so just sewing the body and the arms once more to the head with whip stitches Just 
Sorry, it's a bit hard to see where the stitches are because they're black. So yeah, I'm just going to go around like that and I'll show you when I finish that. I've just finished going all the way around and I think that it looks a little bit neater now. Um, and I just, yeah, I'm happy with how that looks. So the final thing I'm going to do in terms of sewing the arms is, as I mentioned, I'm going to come through to a stitch near the end, maybe about here. Um, and I'm just going to sew a few stitches of the arm down here because I want to uh, make sure that it kind of lays against the body instead of um, pointing upwards. So I'm just going to sew down a few stitches. It doesn't really matter um, how you do it, just because you probably won't be able to particularly see this. So um, yeah, if you just do a few... Even that should be enough, really, because I can feel that's not really moving too much. So I'm just going to pull it fairly tight just to make sure that that stays in place. And then I'm just going to feed the yarn tail through the arm. And then I'm going to cut that. I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So I'll meet you once I finish that. I finished sewing down the arms, as you can see. So this is what it's currently looking like. So I'm happy with that. So now I'm going to get started on the antenna. I've got um, an example of one that I made. So here's what it should look like. So obviously you're going to need to make two of this. Um, so it's quite simple. Shouldn't take you too long. So the first thing you're going to want to do for round one is just four single crochets in a magic circle. Then I'll just talk you through the remaining rounds because they're very simple. So round two, you're going to increase all the way around. And that'll get you to eight single crochets at the end of the round. Round three, single crochet all the way around. Round four, decrease all the way around. So that'll get you to four single crochets at the end of round four. And then rounds five to seven, single crochet all the way around. Um, and I'll meet you when you finish round seven as we're then going to cut the yarn and sew the antennas to the head. I've just completed round seven for the second antenna, so I'm just going to cut leaving a long enough tail for sewing. And then all we're going to do is we're just going to sew these top, the top of the head, so a roughly around here, I would say, so kind of um, more towards the front of the head than the back. Um, but again, it's up to you. If you like how it looks at the back, then that's totally fine, but I'm just going to put mine around here I think so I'm just going to sew them down with a whip stitch again as I usually tend to do um, and there's not going to be anything special about how I sew these down so I'll just show you when I have finished that and then we're going to move on to the final step which is the wings as you can see both the antennas are sewn down now so we're going to move on to making the wings um, and once again I already have one to show you so this is what it's going to look like when it's finished so grab your white yarn and to start off with we're going to actually be chaining but um we're going to end up making this into a round because we're going to work around the chain so we're going to chain nine to start And then what we're going to do is we're going to um, do an increase in the first, well, from, in the second chain from hook, sorry. So I'm just zooming in to show you. And um, I think I've mentioned this before, but I like to work in these back loops here, but you can just work into the front loops if you want. I just prefer how it looks to work into the back loops of the chain. So I'm going to increase. I'm going to do seven single crochets.
Then I'm going to continue working around the other side of the chain and I'm going to do the same thing again. So I'm going to increase in the first chain. Then I'm going to do seven single crochets. Okay, so that's the end of round one, and you should have 18 single crochets at this point. Um, so all we're going to be doing is just working around um, this kind of round that we've created around the chain. So for round two, you're just going to single crochet all the way around. So I'll just show you how I'm going to start that off. So just literally single crochet around this round that you've created um, in round one. Um, so basically, yeah, for round two to six, you're just going to single crochet all the way around. So I won't bother showing you that because that's uh, quite straightforward. Uh, and then to be honest, the remaining rounds are also pretty straightforward. So I'm just going to talk you through those and meet you at the end when we're sewing this to the B and then we'll be finished with this. So for round seven, you need to do a single crochet, then decrease, do seven single crochets, decrease, and then six single crochets, and that'll get you to 16 single crochets at the end of the round. Round eight, single crochet all the way around. Round nine, a similar thing, single crochet, decrease, six single crochet, decrease, five single crochet, that'll get you down to 14 single crochets. Then for round 10, single crochet all the way around. Then round 11, single crochet, decrease, 5 single crochet, decrease, 4 single crochet to get you down to 12 single crochets. And then for round 12, again, just single crochet all the way around. Um, and I will meet you when you get to the end of round 12. And like I said, we'll finish this off and then sew to the back of the B. So I've reached the end of round 12 um, and now all we're going to do is we're going to do a couple of extra single crochets here um, just to finish this off because we need to get to kind of one of the edges of the wing uh, in order to close it off. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to single crochet across um, to close this. So we're going to do six single crochets. Um, I'm just checking what's actually the final single crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it's this one here that I'm going to go into and then into the one So one, two, three, four, five, six. So now that's closed off. So now we're just going to cut the yarn leaving a long tail for sewing. And then I am just going to pin these uh, wings to the back of the body and I'm just going to uh, then talk you through how I'm going to sew that down. Then I'll show you once I've done that and that will be the end of this tutorial. So I've pinned down both the wings and I've looked at how they're going to uh, look from the front and I'm happy with that. So now what I'm going to do is sew these down. I'm going to use whip stitches. I'm going to focus on mainly sewing down these uh, six single crochets that we finished off with. But I'm probably going to do a few extra whip stitches at the top and bottom as well just to really secure this into place. Um, and then I'll show you once I finish that and that will be our B complete. As you can see, I finished sewing down the wings at the back here. So yeah, our little... B is now complete so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next video